Good morning, fifth grade. So on Monday, we talked about Roanoke, which was the first settlement. And then yesterday, we talked about Jamestown, which was the first successful settlement. And today, we're going to be looking at the third establishment, which was Plymouth. So we're going to read about different challenges they had, and then our notes are going to look very similar to what they had the last two days. The third English settlement in North America was started by people who were looking for religious freedom. And remember from yesterday uh, at Jamestown, they were also looking for religious freedom. King James I said that everyone in England had to belong to the Church of England. But some people refused. Among them were people called separatists, a group that wanted to have a separate or independent church. The separatists decided to move to a place where they could be free to practice their own religion. In time, this group came to be known as the Pilgrims. And we hear a lot about the Pilgrims when we normally hear about the beginning of America. In 1620, the Pilgrims sailed from England, traveling on a ship called the Mayflower. After more than two months at sea, they landed on the tip of Cape Cod in what is now Massachusetts. Before going ashore, the Pilgrims drew up a plan of government. They wrote down a set of rules called the Mayflower Compact, and that was just their set of rules to help them live together peacefully. After most of the men signed this agreement, they elected John Carver as governor. After exploring the area, the pilgrims decided to sail the Mayflower across a bay that separated them from the mainland. They landed at a place called Plymouth. Soon they began to build houses and a meeting hall called the Common House. The very first winter was very difficult. The pilgrims had landed too late in the year to plant crops, and they faced a cold and hard climate. Nearly half of the 102 pilgrims died of disease and starvation before spring. Only a few settlers remained healthy enough to care for the others. In March 1621, the pilgrim's luck finally improved. A man named Squanto, a member of the Pautux tribe, was living nearby with or was living with the nearby Wampanegos, visited the pilgrims. Some years earlier, Squanto had lived in England and could speak English. Squanto stayed with the pilgrims and taught them how to plant corn catch fish, and get sweet syrup from maple trees. The pilgrims were so grateful that they thought Squanto had been sent by God. Squanto also told the pilgrims about the American Indians who had died from disease that they had caught from English and French fishermen. While Squanto had been in England, the members of the Pautux tribe had died from this sickness. Another American Indian who visited the Pilgrims was Massasoit. He was the Sakum, or chief of the Wampanoags. Wampanoags. Squanto helped arrange a peace treaty or an agreement between Massasoit and the Pilgrims. The Wampanoags and the Pilgrims promised not to fight each other. They also agreed to help protect each other against attacks by other American Indians. So at this point, the people of Plymouth were pretty safe. They had learned how to um, farm. They would learned how to catch fish and survive. And now they have a treaty with a group of American Indians. The pilgrim's corn ripened during the summer. In the fall, they held a feast to give thanks for the harvest. The food they had collected from the plants they had grown. Massasoit and other Wampanoags came to the celebration with deer to cook and eat. The pilgrims had goose, duck, deer, fish, lobster, and wild turkey. The Thanksgiving feast lasted three days. Today, people in the United States still observe the harvest celebration on the holiday called Thanksgiving Day. 
1621, John Carver died, and Plymouth needed a new governor. William Bradford was elected to this post. He was governor of Plymouth for more than 30 years. In the next few years, ships brought more and more settlers to the colony. In time, other groups would join the Pilgrims in the area we now call New England. All right, so we're going to look at our check for understanding. So the Wampanoag, Wampanoag American Indians were not nice to them. We see that that's actually not true. They were very nice and they created a treaty with them. Disease killed half of them in the first winter. That was absolutely true. Different diseases and the cold weather. And the reason they had so many problems was because when they arrived, it was too late to plant crops. And the reason they came is what, because they were not allowed religious freedoms. Um, so we can check our answers, and those are correct. And we're actually going to jump into our worksheet that is going to look very similar to the previous days. Um, so again, we're going to be completing our worksheet. It should say Thursday, Section 3, the Settlement of Plymouth. Um, and we've got our six words in our word bank. King James, Separatist, Mayflower, Mayflower Compact, Squanto, and Thanksgiving. Um, when I think of Thanksgiving, um, I think of eating food. So I would maybe write about eating food on Thanksgiving, and I'd maybe list what they ate. Um, so a couple things they ate. We can look back at our page. Um, they had corn. So I ate corn, uh, deer, goose, duck, uh, wild turkey. So I ate corn, deer, duck, goose, and wild turkey. on the first Thanksgiving. Make sure you underline it and then you can cross it off. Um, we can do a couple different things. So I know that Squanto was a person that really helped um, the pilgrims and because I listened to him. So we could say that I listened to Squanto help us learn to survive. Pressing that one out. We then have, um, I felt the Mayflower Compact, um, Separatist. Let's talk about the I felt. Um, so the reason that all of the people came to Plymouth was because they wanted a new start with religious freedom. So we can say I felt... Um, angry. So I became a separatist for religious freedom. Um, as far as these ones, with my hands, I, I'd probably do the Mayflower Compact. 
that was something that had to be signed. All those rules had to be signed. So you could do that one. Um, as far as um, King James, and I watched or I smelled, I'd maybe say, um, so King James wanted everybody to follow him. Maybe I watched as I left England to gain religion. So I watched King James off of the shore as I went to New England. Or they left England. And then the last one you have is the Mayflower. Um, I would talk about the smells. As you think about even being by Bradford Beach, the smells of the water, uh, maybe some smells that you'd smell on the boat of the Mayflower as you're coming over. Um, but go ahead and do those last two on your own, and then you're going to be all set to go for section 